Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JGL Gaming and welcome back to your girl, Vasilisa Martha the Purifier. Yes, last episode we had a, uh, an 18 carat streak of good. No, what, what do the Americans say? An 18 carat streak of bad luck. <laughs> uh, when, our, uh, when our brother died at age 25. <laughs> And before that, also, our other brother died at age 35, and our father died at age 47. So, we've really not been very lucky uh, with the dice rolls. Our Jesus has not been kind to us, the random number generator god. Uh, but hopefully, Martha will be able to rule for a bit longer. Uh, let's see. Uh, and also, hopefully, we will be able to press some of these intrigue, uh, intrigue plots. Uh, re, re benefit from some of these intrigue plots we've been doing. So, let's see. <coughs> Last episode we did conquer, we did finally kick out Venice from our lands. They only now hold the, the trade posts, but we will soon also uh, fight them to remove those as well. We, uh, we want every trace of the, the Catholics out of our out of our land. Speaking of which, how is our court? Uh, we will say adult, yes. Ooh, okay, we got a lot of heretics in our court. I don't like that. Please convert. Please, oh, you don't want to, true believer. You are? Alan Bugunutai. Please leave my court. Bye bye. <laughs> we have uh, Damiane. Oh, yeah, she's my uh, polite. So now she's not the one I, I thought. Also a true believer. Please please leave. Isabo, I think we will keep. She's married to uh, to this guy, Constantinos, my nephew. And she has already produced a, a child with a weak claim. Will, uh, will she inherit that, that claim? Can be inherited by successor. Okay, that's that's good. That's actually great, to be honest. I hope she she gets a son, because uh, if she does, then we will make that son our our heir. We we might even make Julia our heir, because she will have a claim to the kingdom of Jerusalem. So we can we can press it for her. That would be great. Okay, uh, Isabel, you can stay. Praise yourself, lucky uh, my woman, true believer. You are my potostator. Okay, we're gonna replace you. I want all these these filthy uh, filthy heretics out of my land. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. We're gonna crack down on uh, on Catholicism. Martha, you know she she's more cruel than her predecessors. You know she she's angry with God for uh, for uh, for having her, her family die as young as they did. Even though she is she is still kind and charitable. So to the outside she's still a, a very nice person, but she is deceitful so inside. She's sometimes uh, boiling with uh, with anger towards the gods. Um, <coughs> let's uh, find that was very deep, wasn't it? <laughs> let's find a uh, a good uh, a good marshal. Uh, Scottish? No, he's Catholic. Let's say my religion. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna crack down on uh, all this all that heresy in our land, man. We have this guy Bugunutai. Do ah Bugunutai. He's a adventurer, sure, why not? Oh, you're 57 years old, so you will probably die soon, but we'll invite you anyway. We could invite a, a commander, I guess, but let's uh, let's hold off on that. Grandmaster uh, Ye Sunge, the magnanimous, accepted uh, Prince Baudouin of Jerusalem's peace offer. Okay. Don't know what happened, but uh, fine. You should die, man. Then we can, can invite this guy. I'm gonna make him a special character, actually, because... I kind of want to invite that that, that that should be that would be another iron in the fire. If this guy dies, this guy will inherit, and then this guy will have a strong claim. So he will probably want to join our court. So that that would be great. And we can invite him, and then we can press his claim for him, give him some land. You know, sounds like a plan to me. Uh, Kale has trouble making friends. So yeah, I noticed this this girl. She's actually pretty great. <coughs> I, uh, we, we might actually, I think, oh no, she does not have the Theodolos bloodline, but I think we might actually keep an eye on uh, on this girl as well. I think she might be a potential su successor as well. Uh, Kali has trouble making friends. Friends are an overvalued commodity anyway. Help her along. Give her toys to attract friends with. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that one. Deceitful. Okay. Oh, that's a uh, couple of intrigue points. That's not a bad trait. You know, uh, opposite of people who are just. Won't like you very much, but that's only a small percentage of the population. You will, you will get a little bit reduced diplomacy, but that's fine. You uh, you are converting, my man. Very good. Ah, you are the way of the leopard guy. Yeah, we need you, my man. Hello. 
Uh, you are a direct leader. Oh yeah, we uh, invited you to become our new uh, marshal. So let's do that. I think we have we have a ton of Catholic vessels. Let's have a look at it. Uh, ru zero ruler. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. Is this guy's a Catholic? Exarch of Bulgaria. Do you want to convert? No, true believer. Yeah, I, I figured. I think uh, there was a quite a massive cult uh, of Catholicism in our land, and I think they went open recently. We have this woman, the she's also a true believer. Almost all of our major vessels are Catholic, so oh, that's not true, but a lot of them are. A lot of them hate me. Oh, not the hated ruler. Yeah, okay. Title claimant, really. Why do you have a claim on the Byzantine Empire? It makes no sense. Oh, I guess my dad? No. <laughs> I really don't understand, but whatever. Um, okay, let's continue. We have a new heir. Prince Constantinos will be our new heir. That's fine, actually. Don't know if we voted for him or not. He's my nephew. He's pretty, a pretty okay character for now. He's married to Prince Isabeau as well, so that, that's uh, that's good. Yeah, let's let's make him our... Uh, or is he Catholic? No, he's right. Orthodox, okay, that's fine then. We'll vote for him as well. For now. Maybe we will find a better candidate later. Uh, convert to the Orthodox faith. How's my money situation? That is what I mean with these retinues, right? Uh, luckily, it's, uh, they're almost at a thousand again, so yeah, so it's going down fast. But still. Uh, Paleologos Maslem, ah, we are still upgrading that. It's, 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 looking, it's looking pretty good, actually. Look at this thing. It's pretty great. There's a um, no. There's in, in in Bavaria. There is uh, it's a temple of Artemis, I think. This guy came of uh, came of age. Okay, great. Keep an eye on you if you want to come to our court immediately. No, uh, I figured figured you wouldn't want to do that. But we will keep an eye on you. Oh, you are terrible. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a there's, a, there's like an, uh, a classical temple near Munich in Bavaria that is like a copy of the. Either the Parthenon or the Temple of Artemis. It's like uh, it was built in like the 19th century. There, there was this crazy king, uh, Maximilian. He also built uh, Neuschwanstein, which is a very famous castle that uh, you see always in uh, in like Instagram posts. Even though it's not really a real castle because it was built in like the 19th century. Um, but uh, he, he built also the this this new classical temple. And I think I I, I I want to visit it at some point. There's a bunch of like uh, German. Like busts of famous Germans in there. There's like, uh, I think, Bismarck and uh, like uh, Beethoven and whatever. They're all in there. Nietzsche, maybe. No, no, probably not Nietzsche. That was after him. Uh, you want to marry. You are the Kagan of Chotitza. You want to marry my niece? No. I'm gonna keep our niece around. Look at her, she's pretty good. Um, okay. Uh, so this plot is just waiting for this woman to die. <laughs> We're gonna keep to keep doing that. This is basically just waiting for this guy to die. We want to continue with this plot to kill the Duchess of Tripolitania, because th then we would have an instant claim on the Kingdom of Egypt. So that's still a great plot. So we're not gonna change any of that immediately. Uh, so what else can we do? Well, we kicked out the Venetians. I think it's time to kick out the Genoese as well. You know, we uh, we let you. Uh, just comfortably rule your two provinces up here uh, for a long time, uh, Serene Doge Luca. But, uh, you know, you are still a heathen uh, Catholic and you did help in the Fourth Crusade. So we don't want you in our lands, man. Did you reclaim on Theodosia? Yeah. Gonna do it. Should we do it or should we wait for the vessels to... Ah, oh, no, most of them don't hate us. Okay, let's do it. He's also uh, He also has cancer, so if we're lucky... Uh, he... Uh, he will die just after we win the war, and then we can immediately fight a second war. That would be great. Everybody join, please. The country of Iboya has converted. Okay, still Catholicism is doing way too well in our land. <laughs> we really have to crack down on it. Ruler really unmarried. Oh, really? My husband died of an infected wound. That's part of Georgia. So now my son is the king of Georgia. Okay. I'm still... I'm 37, okay, so I think it, it's still worth it to uh, marry someone who uh, who, who uh, might give me a son. 
Let's see, maybe an Egyptian. Uh, bring Queen Mao out, Mao out the monster. Okay. Uh, actually, we might want to marry the because last episode also the. Oh no, they're still here. Okay, they are being invaded though. I thought they were already overthrown, but I guess not. But the Golden Horde is Orthodox, I think. I don't know if we can form an alliance with them. Because mm, they are nomads, I don't exactly know how that works. Mm. Looking for a decent alliance, because I think there's a pretty big chance that there will be a big revolt in the future. And then we can use... Uh, we could use some uh, some reinforcements, you know. You have a ton of siblings, but they all died of the plague. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Can we marry your mother, maybe? Oh, your, your father? Let's see. Um, arrange marriage between me and whoever you have. Which is nobody, I guess. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Should we swallow our pride and just uh, go for an alliance with Hungary, for example? He's also pretty weak. What about the Holy Roman Empire? That's a good idea. Uh, hello. Albrecht the Tenacious. Your sibling, 16 year old. Okay, that's that's gross. <laughs> hello. Uh, I, I'm looking for a marriage partner. You know any, anyone? This guy. Left handed and slow. He's a real catch. <laughs> 16 year old. Hmm. No. No. Okay, well, we could just go for the genetics game. <laughs> uh, or France, maybe. France is pretty strong. Hello, Jasper. J Jasper of France. Hello. Um, can we marry maybe... Oh, he's the king of Egypt. Okay. Uh, do you have any nice relatives we could marry? Nope. We could go for an imperial marriage, I guess. Quest Imperial Marriage. For me. Yeah, why not? <laughs> we own it. The arrival of Prince Ochigin is much awaited. It sure is, buddy. Okay, let's focus on the war. 13k, 14k. Wait until we have like uh, 20k or something. Ah. Metrilineally. Okay, oh no, that's, that's fine actually. Uh, everyone is amazed by the arrival of the Imperial Prince. His pious highness, Ochigin Bojigin. Tiniest of smiles, soft blush tints his cheeks. Okay, it's a great honor to become your wife, uh, Bojigin, 16 year old kid. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> we have another Bojigin. Uh, she's clear sighted, yes. Kira, is she my, uh, my ward? She's turning out pretty well. Yeah, really, she's really turning out well. Should keep an eye on her. We might, uh, we might pick her as our next successor. Successor. Orthodox faith. Okay, 18k troops should be sufficient. Let's go to uh, to, to Crimea. Crimea River. We don't need to have the card. Why don't you, why don't you cry me a river? Joe Cocker, right? That's great. Yeah, I think he's doing a cover of uh, another song. Maybe the Beatles or something? I don't know. I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just love... Uh, I, I like Joe Cocker, you know. I think he's very uh, very soulful, let's say. Even his older... Uh, like, Of course, everyone loves him at, at like Woodstock. But even when he gets older, he's still a very good singer. Famous Herald, well-versed in diplomatic protocol, has arrived at our court. He's posting his services to us, and our, and our Chamberlain is saying that we can make good use of the man. Why, well, yes, Christopher Ross, welcome. We could use a... Uh, oh, that, 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 this guy. Attractive. Hmm. Could have married him. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> I think I would have done it uh, if he uh, <laughs> if he uh, if he had arrived only a few days, uh, a few months earlier. All right, let's charge. There are. I saw an army down here. I think. Yeah, here, here they are. Okay. You don't have any. Uh, uh, you're a flanker. Okay, we will put you on the flanks then. Eh? Hmm. Constantinos is a direct leader. We have another flanker. No, I guess not. Okay. Attack the uh, Genoese guys. We should win this battle handily, right? Well, 8,000 troops, though. Man, I don't know where that those suddenly came from. I guess another another batch of boats arrived, but it's fine. Kira is of legal age. She became a charismatic negotiator. Look at this girl. She is great. Do we switch to her? 
She even has shit to bloodline. That's great. I kinda wanna switch to her. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, where is she? Yulia, we also might want to switch to, but let's let's first do uh, Kira. I like her. Kira Paleologos. Okay, that was quick. So immediately uh, the new uh, successor. Very nice. How's the our defections doing? They're there, but they're not like horrible. There's a lot of people who hate me though. I'm not really happy of that. Oh, you want a county? Do we have a county uh, that you? Oh, ah, yeah, this one. Yeah, we're keeping that for to uh, for for when we have a claimant. We'll keep that for now. Yeah, if we can invite that claimant guy. Once we kill his wife. <laughs> More qualms. Immoral. We are we are swaying this guy. No. Invite the plot. Okay, I don't. I we'll probably not be able to convince him. Seventy percent against the Kenoes. Almost one. Very nice. We occupied the whole of the Crimea. Insert current events joke here. <laughs> Recognize my claim to the Crimea, guys. Trust me, I own it. Trust me, I did a fair referendum, guys. <laughs> the people want to join me. 100%, uh, great. Of peace, thank you. And immediately disband our troops or they will all die of attrition. Great. Okay, we didn't even lose that many troops. Very nice. Okay, great. Uh, we already gave it to this duke. Great. Okay, now, well, well, let's pay attention to this guy because I think he's about to die. I see he is suffering from cancer at age 48. Let's see. Uh, is he a special interest character? Let's make him one. We, so Joffrey, we're swaying. Kira, Kale. Uh, okay, I, I, don't, I don't, don't, don't think I'm, I'm going to remove some of these characters. Frederick de Lusignan, yeah, we, uh, we could marry you. If you want to invite, if you want to join my court. Is there any chance of killing this guy? 64.4%. Uh, Let's have a, have a quick look. If, if, it's a, if it's a high chance, not really. I think we should be able to get it above 100%, but not much higher than that. Ah, let, let's do it. We've been trying to kill that other woman for a long time. Nobody has wanted to join the plot. 78%. That's quite low, actually. Dangerous factions. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything we can do to assuage you, my man? We could give you the uh, the county. Oh, that, that's a different guy. Vicious rumors, religious differences. That's a, oh, that's a lot of money. Mm, can I imprison you? I have no valid imprisonment reason. I could spy on him. Sure. Let's have a look at the other guys. See if, we, if there's anything we can do to uh, assuage uh, their uh, their concerns. I am my trusted snoops and sneaks. We'll keep a very close eye on the activities of Dukes Christophoros of Obsikion. A close eye indeed. I wonder what secrets he's hiding. Uh, let's see. 70%. No, I need something real. I'm not going to make stuff up. News from China. Ah, there we go. Okay. The Yuichin Kagan was slain. Oh, wait. Years of constant warfare and battles involving hundreds of thousands of soldiers. The veteran armies of China finally managed to win a decisive battle near Chang'an. The Yuichin Kagan was slain, slain and his elite guards slaughtered to the last man. Okay. I was not, not expecting that. My brother-in-law. <laughs> I was not expecting uh, expecting them to win. I, I, I thought usually those nomads, they, uh, they beat the Chinese. I guess not this time. Uh, he likes Christians. 990. My Ecclesiarch. Uh, yeah. We can find a new Ecclesiarch, right? Here you go. <laughs> can we send you a eunuch as well? Or a concubine as well? We'll find a new one. That's no problem. Um, let's promote a holy man. Hello. 17. That's fine. That's why we can uh, do the ecumenical patriarch, actually. This is not uh, not a great uh, ecclesiarch, but he is a good, uh, uh, yeah, a very prestigious uh, appointment. So uh, we'll do it. Uh, Corpsition, yep, we're working on that. He uh, converted someone. Uh, okay, he's okay. He's okay, I guess. 
Uh, you, you, your rangers report that a brilliant physician is, re is supposedly residing deep in the forests of Mesembria. The physician, a dwarf named Georgios, only ever leaves the forest in order to heal the sick children of nearby villages. With the right amount of coercion and praise, he would reluctantly agree to take up residence at your court. A strange little man, but very skilled. Bring him to my court. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ugly dwarf. Okay. <laughs> Shrewd though, stubborn. He's okay, he's okay. He's um, iconoclast. Cannot have that. Oh, he's true believer. Okay. Iconoclasm, I, I don't mind so much. It's still orthodoxy, you know. Uh, yeah, okay, let's stop that then. <coughs> Seems the faction has gone away uh, by itself anyway. We have uh, raiders raiding our land. Mm, someone should do something about that. <laughs> we, uh, we lost a council position Ecclesiarch. Oh, he's dead already. That was my uh, court, uh, my uh, ecumenical patriarch. Okay, we'll, we'll replace him with the guy we hired then. Peasant revolt. Okay. Where is it? 6,000 troops. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go over there. Fight those peasants. Where's Chinese on the guy? No, it's not necessary. That's not necessary, man. My 17-year-old uh, husband who doesn't really look like he's 17-year-old. He looks like he's 30-something. Uh, but whatever. Ah! Ah, okay. Okay. Bishop, P Prince Bishop Rick of Rome. Use it. Yes. Why don't you go immediately to this one as well? Can we now uh, declare war? Okay, we will, we will fight the the uh the peasant revolt first but then i know what we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna attack rome rome itself that would be great the Phoenicians are really not doing well huh prince kiriake is now free age became a skilled tactician nice that's the one thing i miss uh, about the conclave dlc is that you cannot have the laws uh, that change uh, status for women so i uh, i kind of want to Wanna raise my former ward? Where is she? This this girl? No, the other one. Where is she? Uh, it's good that I made her a special character. This girl, this woman, to be my uh, my uh, magistras. But I cannot do that. That's uh, that's that's the one thing I I, I I miss about Conclave. I do I like I mentioned I think in a previous series or the series before that I I do have Conclave, but I I don't really like it, so I I turn it off. Uh, rebels killed Dana or Preslav after taking Rosica, Gusa in Ragusa. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> you should be able to handle this yourself, by the way, my man. I don't know uh, why you have me uh, drag my ass all the way uh, to Ragusa to uh, save you. <laughs> this is your capital, man. You're your king. Why, why did I even make you a king? If you're not gonna fight battles like this. Okay. Um, Lecce, how many people can it support? 35k, okay. Let's uh, put a rally point there then. And let's go to war with Pope Urbanus V. Claim Rome. Nearby Catholic rulers are likely to ask to join Pope Urbanus V in defense of their religious head. Whatever. We have the troops. It's dangerous, but I think if we're quick... Because the Holy Roman Empire is, is about as strong as we are. So it is tricky, what we're doing. But I think it's doable. Very doable. Uh, but we do need all hands on deck. Let's raise the Chinese on the guard as well. My boys, let's uh, let's move to Lecce. Uh, let's also raise these boats. And let's go to Lecce. How is the plot going? Not very well. I think I'm just going to go back to that other woman, this woman. So at least this was 100, 100 plus percent. Oh, we also still have our spy master here. We should have moved him to there, but whatever. Let's just try to murder this woman, because that would solve a lot of problems we have at once. I'll send an envoy to his realm. Ah, oh, this is this, this guy. Yeah, we probably won't, won't be able to convince him. But who knows. Wonderful. I'm going to join my plot now. Nope. <laughs> we sent you a gift. 100 gold. Okay, we, we're going to keep the money. We need the money. Fight the largest, potentially the largest war we ever fought. 
because uh, we, we, we did fight the Holy Roman Empire before, but now potentially we're going to fight the Holy Roman Empire and the Pope. I say potentially, I think they're all, yeah, they're already at war with us. Jesus Christ, everybody, everybody is at war with me. Guys, it, it's my city. I'm, I'm, I'm Roman. Crusade for Mali, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> 18,000. It's going to be a tricky war. But we're going to fight it anyway. We don't care. Okay, uh, yes. Constils is a good flanker, right? No, he's Derek leader. Okay. You guys move. Is this uh, mountains? Hills. Okay, well. I do need to fight a battle. Where is he going? Oh, he's going to Rome, I guess. Let's, uh, let's move to Rome. Excellent. Let's wait for our second army to assemble. Okay, we will, we will merge these two, because this is my retinue. To assemble a little bit more, and then we will follow them. Ruby Scepter. Remove. She, she died? No, not yet. Not yet. I think her husband died. That's fine. If she dies, uh, we, will, we will annex Anatolia, so that would be great. Are they attacking me, by the way? No. Okay. Uh, when you guys join, we will move this army over as well to uh, Rome. 10,000. Okay, let's do it immediately, in fact. You're fighting here, a major battle on the plains. There's a lot more coming in. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, we could raise some boats, maybe. I don't think uh, they will be much faster. Maybe they will. Nah, just go, just go. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> we, they almost were beaten. And then they moved in another force, so that the, the, the morale was very low. We're still winning. Oh, come on. Come on, keep up. Keep up. There's a reinforcement coming. Oh, thank God. 35,000 casualties. Holy shit. It's like the, 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 the song. It's like World War One in the trenches. That's brutal, man. 35,000 casualties. How many troops can Rome support? Quite a lot, I think. 23k. Okay, so we can move all these armies to there. 5,000 troops. We should be fine. Oh, there's 19,000 suddenly. I guess they came out of those boats. Alright, we should still be fine, I hope. Come on. Man, this is a lot, a lot more brutal than I thought. <laughs> Oh, there's 7,000 troops in the capital. Fuck, man. Okay. Um, 440. Okay, that, that's enough, actually. You come in. You will, uh, we, will, we will send some more troops over to Rome. Come on. <laughs> I told you guys we were going to fight the Catholics. This is a brutal war against the Catholics, man. Uh, okay, we, have, we do have some attrition. But... Uh, I really want to uh, use all my troops to uh, to assault these places. Six, four, three, two, one. Assault as, f as, as quick as we can, because we, we now won a major battle. But who knows how long it will last, you know. Uh, level six, four, okay. Then in, th in, that th in that case, we will split up. You guys go to Capua. You guys can help in the indeed out in Rome. 15,000. Okay, who is in charge here? Adrianos, do we have a siege leader? Uh, let's have this to be the main army. So Thomas is a flanker, Richard is a flanker, and uh, Constinos. And here is the secondary army, so Zoran can lead it. And we will have uh, Giliato and uh, uh, let's see. Ah, it doesn't matter so much. It kills the foils, that's fine. Ooh, look at all these armies in my land. We do need to besiege Rome, though, so we're going to continue with that. And there's going to be... Yeah, there's a major army coming here already. So I think Constantinople is going to have to hold out for a while. I think uh, that we're just going to have to accept that. Oh, here comes the army. Are they locked? Yep, okay. Join. Join. Help them out. Yes. Great. 47%, okay, that's another 10%. You guys chase them down. You're still almost full morale. These guys can continue besieging Rome. Uh, Pilgia, yes. Move. Move to Pilgia. 
There we go. Cap is another Duke. Duke of Silesia. 145 gold. Great, we can use that. Okay, move back. We don't want to stray too far away from uh, Rome. Because major battles might be coming. Is Constantinople still in the siege? 20,000 troops. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to besiege all of Rome and then we have to move to Constantinople as quickly as we can. Uh, what are we besieging here? Our oh, trade post. Uh, yeah, you guys can uh, can leave. Can we? Can we? Do we have any? No, we have no allies. Could uh, call in the the, <laughs> the emperor, I guess. Request invasion. No, okay, we need five thousand grace and concubine. Guria, okay. No, no, no. We we want to we want to keep her. Do we want to keep her? She's not my heir, right? No, Kira is my heir. Kira. Okay, well, let's keep her for now. We might send her off later. Come on. To Skulum. 10k, okay. They should be able to handle that. I want really to besiege the, this to Skulum uh, fort. Thank you. Okay. Do we need to join them? Might as well, right? Oh, no, we don't need to. Okay. Storm the castle. Can we do that? We can. Okay, we, we need some more troops, I think. Raised another... Raised another uh, you raised another trade post. Great. 53%. Man, this is getting tense. There's troops all over my land as well. 25,000. Charge. Three turbos. 78%. Oh, this is level 640 4 again. If we, can, we can hold it with the, our current army, I think. Excellent. We can siege it, I mean, with our current army. 78%. Anyone trying to siege Constantinople? No, doesn't look like it. 78%. Come on, people. Julia. Ah, great. I, uh, I think I need to raise her myself. If we can, yeah. Yeah, because uh, she is potentially another uh, successor of ours. Because she has the Theodor Theodolos bloodline. No, she doesn't have the Theodolos bloodline, but she's going to inherit the claim to uh, Jerusalem. And if we press it for her, then... Uh, then it will be immediately uh, our vessel. 20,000 troops coming. Okay. Uh, how many more levies can we raise? Hmm. 4,000. Let's see where they go. Let's move them to Constantinople. I think we will move the boats over there as well. So we can hire some, uh, some mercenaries if we need to. And we can bring them over quite fast. Because there's a big army coming here. And Rome is just planes. Yeah. But I do not want to siege it. 78%. Oh man. 18,000 and 20,000. And 15,000. Holy moly. <laughs> you might want to leave. <laughs> you might want to leave soon. Let's keep some boats uh, at the ready. To, uh, to evacuate. If necessary. Do we need more? Maybe one more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys uh, move over here. You're ready to uh, get ready to evacuate our troops. If there's too many armies coming. Because if they're all coming, all three at once, then we're dead. And I think they might. So, uh, <laughs> and I have another fleet coming. Yeah, okay. So we want, uh, we want to hire some mercs if we can. If there's a big army coming here. And I think there might be. 39,000 troops. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, luckily they're not really coordinating very well. Come on. Too bad we don't have a siege leader. Too, too bad we cannot hire that guy who is uh, way of the leopard. Let's have another look. Just to confirm if that's true. It seems to be. Charge. 100. 100%. <sighs> okay. That was actually... <laughs> that was a lot more tense than I thought it would be. <laughs> we fought... The largest battle in the campaign so far. 25,000 losses. But we did it, guys. We did it. The holy eternal city is ours. Despite one, two, three, four, five kings and an emperor helping out the Pope, who is himself a king. We still managed. The Byzantines, the true Romans, still managed to capture our old capital of peace. And force the mans. There we go, guys. There we go. We now own the Eternal City itself, Rome. Rome itself. And we're immediately going to send over 
<laughs> a guy to convert to convert it to a true faith or orthodoxy. Amazing. Okay. How long have I been playing? Oh, <laughs> very long. Okay. <laughs> it was an exciting war. It's good that we have something exciting happen again. Even though uh, our, our, our plans don't always uh, work out. We did manage to grab Rome itself. So we now will be, we'll have uh, soon another patriarch in Rome. Again. And uh, we will be able to truly call ourselves the Roman Emperor Empire again. Alright. Um, dangerous factions. Okay, those factions, I think we're going to deal with them later. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we conquered Rome this time. We will see what happens next. Uh, on the next episode of this series. So see you then. Bye-bye.